Hello, and welcome to HabitRPG.com. This is Rick, and as I mentioned in the blog post related to this video, that there are many different ways that you can do to-do lists and certainly no shortage of productivity apps that are available. I've tried a few of them, uh, but the one that I use on a daily basis is this Habit RPG, and that's what you're looking at here on the screen, my uh, location for that. Now, I must say that it is a little bit gimmicky. Uh, you'll see up here in the upper right-hand corner my avatar, and uh, that's my pet and my mount, which I'll explain a little bit more uh, later, and this is my status right here. Now, I must say there are some drawbacks to this. Uh, first of all, it is not collaborative. If you're looking for a to-do list that you can share with someone else or that can be integrated with a calendar and other features like that, um, this is not it. Uh, secondly, uh, it's definitely in development, so there are some rough edges, especially the iPad app and the Android app are not very robust. Um, I find that it is much more um, engaging and um, enjoyable to use the desktop application, which is what I'm using right now. And lastly, uh, the, it definitely is uh, kind of uh, fun uh, if you're used to a to-do list that uh, is static and not terribly interesting, this is not for you. And there is a level of accountability with this because if you don't visit for a long period of time um, and or if you don't work on your um, tasks, um, they will deduct health points, which is your health points right here, my health points right here, and um, eventually if, if you go low enough on health, you do die. And uh, unfortunately, I'm remiss to admit that um, I have done that uh, a couple of times, actually more than a couple. But let me show you uh, the tour to show you the, uh, what you can do here at um, HabitRPG.com. What I like is that you can set up a number of different categories. Uh, this is the habits category, and you can create either positive or negative habits. And these are, are things that you can add to, um, not on a daily basis, but um, on, a, on a regular basis. These are uh, things that you want to keep doing more often or you want to stop doing. Uh, you can see here I have positive ones. These are things that I want to do. Um, I will say that have, since I've been using this app and I've been using it now for um, probably three or four months, um, my flossing has gotten a lot better and uh, my dentist whom I visited recently thanked me for that. And I, I really have to say it, it has a lot to do with this app and this uh, feature of being able to check it off um, as I do it. The dailies are a little bit different. Uh, these are things that I want to do each and every day. And you can see I've got some already marked for today. And um, these are completely customizable. Um, all of these uh, buttons here will allow me to edit it, to get rid of it. I can see my progress on this. Um, let's look at one that I've done pretty regularly. Here's my progress on morning prayer. Uh, which I do um, quite a few times. Um, I'll also say that um, these two right here at the bottom are very important for me, the don't press snooze and the make bed. And again, I've built these into really daily habits in large part because of this app. And um, knowing that each day I can check this off and get rewarded for it. And I'll show you the rewards here in, in just a moment. Um, so the third thing, and this is really the most important for me, is the to-do list. And again, there's a lot of different customization on this. Uh, you can see some of the things that I have just entered today. Um, these are um, things that I'm doing, um, I want to get done immediately. Now, why are, are there different colors? Why does this go from yellow to pink to red? Well, these are things that I have not been doing. Uh, these are things that I put in that um, I, I need to do. And the longer they stay in here, the redder they get and also the more health points that I'm going to lose. These down here, of course, especially the passwords, um, has been sitting here for quite a long time. Once I clear this off, hopefully by checking it off and not by deleting it off, uh, I can um, be, uh, it'll go away and I won't continue to lose health points for it. Um, any of these are customizable and one of the things that I like about this is, and let me go ahead and just choose one right here. Um, I'm going to catch up on grading because that's something I always need to make sure that I'm doing. I'm going to go over here to edit it and I can put a checklist in here if there's multiple steps. I can put notes, a due date, 
um, what time of day I want it to be done. I like this one right here is I can choose whether it's going to be easy, medium, or hard. And what this will allow me to do is get more reward when I've completed it. And certainly the things that are more difficult to do, I'm going to want to get more rewards for it and um, have that greater satisfaction for it. Um, so rewards, what are those? Well, here are the rewards. Uh, 15 minutes on an iPad. Now, there's two different kinds of rewards. One are rewards that I can set. So I can customize my own rewards. I have so many games that I just love to spend time with on my iPad, but it's valuable time. So it's going to cost me. So I'm going to use 20 gold pieces, and my gold pieces are listed up here. These are things that I'm going to receive once I check something off on um, my to-do list, um, or on my daily, or my, ta my habits. And I can cash these gold pieces in for the reward. And this is one I'm going to have to monitor myself. There, there's nothing that the system will actually do for this. But these other ones are items that I can purchase that are going to be added to my um, character who is over here. So let me see if I can buy this absurd party hat. And I go ahead and click on that. And I'm surprised it hasn't loaded over here. Usually it will load over here and I can see that. But um, that's not going to happen right now, apparently. Um, now, I can use a health potion, um, which is worth 25. And it's going to give me more health. So I click on that. And you can see I restored my health. And my gold pieces went down. This is really kind of the basic um, view of Habit RPG. And quite honestly, this is where most users will, will probably find the greatest satisfaction. But it allows more than this. So I can come over here to Social. And this is pretty neat because there's a tavern where I can connect with other um, people who are using this uh, platform. I can be part of a party um, and uh, go on some quests and challenges with others and have some uh, additional accountability. Uh, the guilds are kind of cool. I am part of an educator's guild. And here I can chat and share challenges with um, other educators from really around the world. You can see that there are um, different uh, names here that indicate um, an international crowd. Um, there's all kinds of guilds for uh, students and parents and anyone else who might like that um, shared accountability. There are challenges that you can undertake. Uh, two of the ones that I am participating in are, and I'm going to show you which ones those are, is the Don't Press Snooze in the Morning. There's 912 of us and make bed every morning. And I think this one is an interesting one. Um, if I remember correctly, this is from somebody in the military. And um, he or she says that that's an essential aspect of military life, making sure you never leave your bunk unmade. Um, and uh, I'll tell you, I've been making my bed every day. And uh, it, it's a nice way to start the day. Um, inventory is kind of a fun one over here. Um, this is a place where I can see the eggs and the hatching potions and the food that I've received. In addition to getting gold pieces when I comp complete a task, I get these different items. Uh, I'm not going to walk you through how these items work, but I'll show you what they turn into. They turn into my, click over here, virtual pets. And the virtual pets are kind of fun. Um, I don't spend a lot of time with this because, again, time is at a premium, but it's still kind of fun. And uh, what I can do is I can see my lion cub here. That's how far along he is um, in growth. I can come down here and choose a type of food to feed him. I think a lion cub probably likes meat. I can click on him. And then I'm going to feed him. And he doesn't seem to enjoy it. So he's not going to grow that much. So I'm going to have to figure out what he is going to enjoy. I think maybe fish he might enjoy. Click on that. And doesn't seem to enjoy it. Well. Hopefully, I'll find something that he can enjoy. Once he gets large enough, what will happen is he will turn into a mount. And then I can choose the mount. I'm going to change my mount here to the cotton candy flying pig. Yes, it is a little bit odd, but there he is right there. And there's other equipment and, and many other things that I can do. This is the data to show uh, how I'm doing and, of course, the help. and. Um, this is a free app, um, completely free. They do ask for donations because, again, they're just building it out. It's something that is a work in progress. Um, they do take subscribers. And you can see the prices here on subscribing, some of the benefits that come with that. 
Uh, you get diamonds, which uh, I think the only gems, which I think the only way you can get those is through subscribing. Um, and again, I have not gone that route, um, although I really do like this um, this platform quite a bit. And and you can see that it it's a for me it's a, a fun way to do um, things that I'm going to do anyway, and to have a sense of progress and a sense of reward for it. So thank you for watching this video, and thank you for following EdTech Emergent. And uh, I hope that 2015 is a tremendously productive year and perhaps Habit RPG will be a part of that.